Shin Chao Katban, Toi Ten La Shannon, Toi Lambiak O Van Bon Kinte, O Dai Su Kwan Hoaki O Hanoi, Toi Den Tu, Wisconsin. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about my home state, Wisconsin, which is a beautiful place that's excellent for tourism. Wisconsin is known as America's Dairyland, and it's famous for its dairy products like cheese, milk, and especially my favorite, ice cream. Uh, Wisconsin also produces a lot of other products uh, for the U.S. economy, such as cranberries, cherries, ginseng, and a lot of IT manufacturing takes place in Wisconsin. Wisconsin is famous for its beautiful nature and it has many lakes and beautiful valleys. Normally, on the weekend in Wisconsin, a family, only in the summer probably, will go to the lake and go fishing or swimming and just enjoy the beautiful scenery. In the winter, it is very, very, very cold. So in the winter, we like to do outdoor activities like snowmobiling, cross-country skiing, or sitting around a fire. Um, it's a beautiful place to enjoy the nature both in summer and winter. Wisconsin is also home to the University of Wisconsin, our oldest and largest university. It's also the university that I attended. People from who study at the University of Wisconsin are known as the Badgers. And people from Wisconsin generally are known as Badgers. But this is not because they, they look like the animal, the badger. It's more because uh, back in the 1800s, Wisconsin had a lot of lead miners. And lead mining happens underground. So the miners would dig tunnels under the ground where they would get warm and sleep while they were doing lead mining. This is very, an, a very important part of the history of Wisconsin. And these lead miners were known as badgers and the name has stuck through all these years. So I hope that next time you're in the United States and you're looking for some beautiful nature or a wonderful place to visit with very nice people and very good cheese, you visit Wisconsin. Thank you.